Hi, Dalai Lama. Uh, His Holiness Dalai Lama, I'd like to say happy birthday to you. Also, I hope you can have, um, I not only hope, I pray for you. <laughs> you have a long life. And especially, I wish you can go back to Tibet, you know, uh, within these few years. And I will say, Tibetan language, say, Sashi Dele to you. <laughs> Using the Chinese word, say, Zuni, Sunday Kuala, Zuni, Changso, Long Yen Changso, Zalu, Huedao, Shizang, Mishi. My name is Stephen, my last name is Tong. I marry with my wife, and which is the, the, the year uh, 1981. And then I come over to United States on 1982 because my wife's family was here. And that's why I come to United States. At that time in USA, the foreigner is hard to find out a, a job, you know, in, uh, within the uh, American society. It's hard to find. Then uh, I remember that year, uh, that was my guru, Rao Ramoche, came to visit me the first time he visited in USA. And uh, I, at that time, uh, what, ha what was happened is I, I lose my job. I, I didn't have any, any job. So then I, I was my guru for one month, and before he left, he asked me, you know, did I find out any job? I said, no, I, did not, I, did, I still don't have any job. I'm, uh, I'm jobless. <laughs> so my guru said, okay, don't worry. Tomorrow morning I'm going to pray for you. Then the, the, that day morning, uh, he going to fly out back to uh, Nepal. And, and then, he, uh, that morning I remember, early in the morning, four o'clock, he woke up and uh, he went to the prayer room and prayed for me. And I was woke up around uh, six o'clock and uh, I say you know, good morning to my master. My master just smiled and uh, drink the uh, Tibetan tea. He said, oh, uh, today I'm going to fly out. So when after my airplane fly out, two within two weeks you will gain a very good job. So you need to keep this job forever because this job was given by Green Tala. Then I, I. Uh, apply my master lessons. And fortunately, I only take a one-time test and I got my license. Then I decided to quit my job, come out, establish my own business. Before I was living with my mother-in-law for six years in Alexandria. Then I moved here and I start for one-man company, <laughs> self-employed. <laughs> Uh, and I remember the, the first, uh, first three years I, I had a hard time because um, I did not have many customers. Yeah, so that's the problem. So the, every month my income was so, so low. You know, my income only maybe around uh, $1,000 per month. And uh, we have mortgage, so my wife's income pay for the mortgage, my income pay for the food. <laughs> and that's it. So we, don't, we are not much left. <laughs> but fortunately, because of the Buddhism, I'm very you know, faithful to the Buddhism. So that's why I always, even though I, I, we are poor, but I was so happy. I still happy. Every day, day's life, I'm very happy. <laughs>
after I moved in, maybe six months, my parents came and my master also came. So my guru came and uh, he blessed him. He said, oh, you can uh, establish a center here. I said, well, okay, since the guru want me to establish a center. So I use in the basement as my, uh, my temporary center. So then I, I uh, built up a, a shrine, shrine room, a very small one. And the, the site just exactly like uh, I showed you earlier, the, the basement office, just, just, just like that. And uh, I established the, the shrine room, I put the several Buddha statues. Because the, the first year my guru did, uh, visit me, he didn't know, you know what, you, what, what I need. And then second year, he, he bring more Buddha statue came. And then uh, we get together like uh, every you know, prayer day, like uh, in the Tibetan calendar, 10th, uh, 15th, 25th, you know, uh, and the end of the month. So we all get together to pray. later I have more money I then I built on, on my side yeah I built the two car garage the outside look at two car garage but inside the clear room <laughs> uh, the temporary temporary the center in my basement I was invited to Pierre Ramachet to come Pierre Ramachet took uh, 10 lama with him and came to my basement and the Pierre Ramachet was so happy. I, 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 I say, you know, please bless him. Uh, you know, this center can be uh, uh, grown up. The Pierre Ramachet said, no problem. And he gave us a blessing and he left. And then second time when I um, built the two car garage as a, you know, as a prayer room, and I also invite Pierre Ramachet came. So actually Pierre Ramachet came twice you know, for the car garage, you know, temporary uh, center. And then after that, I demolished everything, I rebuilt the whole house, and then I will invite the Pierre Romaji came again. So Pierre Romaji is so happy, he said, wow, so your center is from the basement and car garage and now big house. <laughs> All my family, they, they all the Chinese Buddhism, not the Tibetan Buddhism. So I remember when the first year I uh, take refuge to my first guru, uh, which is uh, uh, Guru Chen, and um, my parents, they didn't understand uh, Tibetan Buddhism. So they are against, you know, especially my father. My father was so worried about it. He's, he was thinking about uh, what happened to my son. He changed a lot. How come he, he bring a stranger picture and back home? Every day he just bow to the, <laughs> bow to the stranger picture <laughs> because they never saw the green tala, never saw the, <laughs> the Dema Sambawa. <laughs> this, for them it's a very stranger. So, I, uh, I, I didn't say anything. I just pray and pray and pray. So then I bring, I brought my, my parents to see my master and they talk about the Tibetan Buddhism. So my master was very, very uh, high wisdom and just uh, till, till, till uh, briefly introduced the, what is the uh, Tibetan Buddhism. And uh, my master talked to my father, say, actually the same, you know, just the picture you look different because uh, uh, Chinese people doesn't, you know, doesn't pray to them. And, but that doesn't mean uh, you don't have such kinds of Buddha or Bodhisattva. So my father, all of a sudden he said, okay. 
and he decided to take refuge to my Guru Chen. So that was uh, surprised me. So then my whole family become to a Tibetan Buddhism. The first time when I uh, saw his Dalai Lama teaching, that was, uh, I forgot, maybe somewhere around 15 years or 17 years ago, uh, the, in DC had uh, the Tibetan cultural exhibition with my guru. My guru was here. So the Lama Machi also took us to there and to receive the teaching and you know everything. The Dalai Lama, he spread out the um, uh, uh, Tibetan Buddhism teaching to everywhere, all over the world. So, um, so because of the Dalai Lama, uh, the make more Western people, you know, to have the uh, good chance to learn the Tibetan Buddhism. So that's a good thing about um, you know Tibetan Buddhism and the Dalai Lama.